Hey guys, so I'm back with another Punishing Grey Raven video. So today I want to go over the co-op mode and just my thoughts on co-op, the pros and cons of it, because there's certain things I like about it and there's certain things I don't like about it. So let's talk about the positives first. So I actually think the co-op is really fun. Just working together with other people, it feels very different from just doing the stages yourself. So I like that aspect of it, and it works out really great and is really fun when the other people you're with know what they're doing and know to pick different units so you have a healer on the team or three DPS that know what they're doing in terms of dodging and so forth because you can do it with three DPSs as long as the people know what they're doing and they know how to dodge and don't get killed. But it's way better doing co-op with three different types of units, including a healer. It goes smoothly and it's foolproof when you have a healer. The rewards are also incredibly good. It's the only way to get weapons. And I did get a five-star weapon before. It wasn't anything new. It was a weapon I already had, but... You still have a chance to get five-star weapons in there, so then you can power up your units. You should definitely go into the co-op. And make sure that you max out the number of times you're doing it so you pick up all the rewards from there. Now, the bad parts about it. It takes a while to get into matches, which is kind of annoying. You know, you sit down and you have time to play. You see the co-op is open and you go in. And then you can't get into a team. One of the bad parts about co-op is the fact that it takes a little while to get a team, and in particular a team that knows what they're doing. There's a lot of flip-flopping around where people come in and then they leave because they don't want to switch units. Uh, one of the problems is people built up, you know, only certain units at this point. So if someone took a unit that they built, it kind of makes it hard for them to be able to be on that team. They just have to leave. The other thing is sometimes the difficulty level is too low so you have to leave and then when you do the quick option you kind of just end up getting stuck in that one match repeatedly and you have to keep leaving which is kind of annoying. So getting into a match and finding a team that actually knows what they're doing can be difficult and it makes it kind of annoying. When you finally get a team that actually knows what they're doing and you have a healer on the team, a tank... DPS or two DPSs and a healer or even three DPSs works if the three people know what they're doing and they know how to dodge and not get hit and not get killed during the battle. But it's definitely smoother having one person using a healer. So that's one problem with it. It can take a while to find the right team. And then when those people stay together with you on the team, you could just bang out a bunch of co-op matches like really quickly, one right after the other. My biggest pet peeve with the co-op is that there's a daily mission for completing the co-op, but the co-op is gated. I find this to be incredibly annoying. Because when I sit down to play, I'm playing when I have time to play. So if I go, I haven't done my co-op set, let me go and do that. And then I'm confronted by this, I'm really annoyed. Because it means I have to come back later when I have other stuff to do. You know, I don't know if I'll be able to get in and do this co-op unless the next time I sit down, this happens to be open. It's bad in games when they gate important content behind some kind of time frame. It's bad enough when they do stuff like something's only open Tuesday and Thursday and then you have to wait for those days to even do it. This is just as bad if not worse just because it's like eh, it opens at these certain time frames throughout the day but I may not be playing this game then. So it makes it very rough to be able to do co-op when the time frame that I'm playing the game this is close. I actually got all my co-ops done in one go this last week just because I had was playing the game and it happened to be open and I just decided to, you know what, I'm just going to spam my stamina and just get it all done. This should be open all day long so that people can actually do this mode. This is probably my biggest pet peeve with it. The co-op in terms of getting difficult, you know, it being difficult getting teams and stuff is something that happens 
in all games that have co-op, which I've played quite a few. I think this should be open all the time. I don't think it should be gated like this so that people could actually do this and get the rewards because they're very important. So I'm actually really enjoying this game. I do like the co-op. I think some changes could make it better. And I think as time progresses, it'll be easier because more people will be playing, more people will be leveled up to a certain level where you could do higher difficulties and hopefully get the drops. The drops are random, so it kind of sucks when you get nothing. It's all garbage as you go through. I think I've gotten one five-star weapon from co-op, and it was a duplicate of a weapon I already had. But we'll have to see what happens with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.